Hi viewers, bang they are in there now. We've just played the, uh, the, the video from the, uh, the Power Pole Day 1 of the Hobie World Championships this year. Uh, it's been on Facebook all afternoon, but we all walked into it now. And uh, great to see some of the anglers sharing their catches by running the GoPros on their boats. Um, people all over the world get to see them do what they do. So thank you very much to the guys that ran cameras yesterday, today, tomorrow. It all helps us cover this event really well. Um, it's the Power Pole Day 1 of the Championships. They're one of the great sponsors we have here. Of course, it's the Daiwa Hobie Worlds. Um, it's uh, also brought to us by Lawrence, by AFCO, by uh, Visit Amol, by Rapala, by Tawny X, by the, Amads, by the Amal Stad Hotel, Hobie Eyewear, Ram Mounts, Noqua, and Sports Fishing Dalsland. And Andy there, thank you very much for uh, DJing and serving us all business tonight. Big thanks to the sponsors. We have a little bit of housekeeping for, uh, for day two. Um, tomorrow is the Lawrence Championship Day, day two. Uh, breakfast, uh, same time in the mornings, five o'clock, they'll be open from in the hotels. Registration and key tag allocation is at the event site, same time as this morning, six o'clock. But guess what? There's no bullshit tomorrow. It's going to be straight into business. We're going to have the event briefing at 6.15 a.m. I think that is on my sign there, yep. The mandatory morning briefing at the event site is now 6.15, not 6.30. And you know what that means? We can get those boats in quicker and we can get started a little bit quicker tomorrow morning and take advantage of that early morning bite. Um, also, when you come back in in the afternoon, the uh, colour set, the buttons dug. I don't know if I've pronounced that correctly, but it's the uh, children's days on. And uh, after you've come in, got your kayaks, got your gear stowed, have something to eat, there'll be some presentations and some opportunity to become involved in that children's day for the afternoon. So thank you to the anglers for hanging around to do that. Also, uh, the uh, Lawrence Championships Day 2 presentation uh, is here at 5.30 again tomorrow afternoon. So uh, same time as today, get here, grab a beer, and we'll go through the day's proceedings and reveal the scores because, of course, we turned that scoreboard off on the Tawny X system at 12.30 today. Um, we have... Uh, I'd invite, like to invite uh, Gero up from Hobie Europe. And if, uh, if someone can grab uh, Marcus from the restaurant to come up to in a little while. Come on, Marcus. Gero, come on up. He's paying for dinner tonight. Come on, guys. Hobie Europe. I heard Marcus's own personal credit card comes out and it gets swiped to pay for the dinner tonight. And uh, would you like to say a few words to the guys about, uh, about uh, your love for paying for dinner for everyone? At least one nod of the world. Where's my Star Wars music? No, my credit card is expired, actually. And to be honest with you guys, welcome to the Hobie Europe Amal dinner tonight. And uh, I, would like, I would like to use the opportunity, op opportunity tonight to uh, ask you to put your hands together again for Amal, the city Amal, and the commune, and everyone who's helping us here locally. They go above and beyond to make sure we can host the Hobie Fishing World here in Amal. So while you had a good day today out there on the water, I spent the whole day in the kitchen and made something special for you. It's a special dish, cut pilar, and the berries. What are the berries called? L lingam berries. So I know how to cook. You will enjoy it. Thanks for coming. All right. We're going to let you out of here, um, Jero, because uh, even though you're the fifth top-ranked kayak angler in Europe, I think it says here, fifth in the Hobie World Kayak Bass Fishing, and it also has a note here that ladies go weak at the knees when they see you. Is that true? That's absolutely true. All right, we'll go see some in the audience there, mate. You can get off. Marcus, come over here into the light a little bit so we can see you. And uh, these guys have been doing the great barbecues for lunchtime. They run the Scafiri restaurant inside. And uh, I think it's important uh, just to let us know a little bit about some of the local ingredients that you use here tonight. Anyone that's eaten here knows the food is fantastic. But tell us maybe a little bit about the dishes tonight. So tonight you're going to get a... Uh, a Classic Swedish meal. We eat it a lot here in Omo. And uh, you probably seen the the meat that you're eating tonight. You've probably seen it when you came into Omo because it was probably alive a couple of days ago. It's very fresh meat. It's the best of the best. And we're gonna get it with the classic uh, uh, lingonberries, potato puree, and uh, cream sauce. Now. The restaurant isn't just you, it's your girlfriend, Rebecca, as well. Who is the brains behind the operation, you or her? I'm going to say her. Yeah. Good, good move. 
Round of applause for the guys from Skifiri. Well done. You're going to get back in the kitchen because we're looking for it. They're doing a great job, these guys. All right. We are on to some awards, and we have a couple of awards left over from the Ram Mounts practice day on day two. We've got some big fish awards. Uh, firstly, we have the award for the big pike. It was Brandon Barton from the USA, 98 centimetre fish. Where are you, Brandon? Is he here? There he is. Wins the Daiwa Aridy 3000 DC Threadline Reel. And also, watch out for the lid of that trophy there and come across a little bit here in this light so we can see what's going on. Uh, the secret's sort of out of the bag now. You're onto the big ones. Uh, what did that one eat yesterday? Spinnerbait. Spinnerbait. No more details because you've got two more days of comp to go, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Well done. Go and enjoy your reel. Well done. And we have an award, of course, for the big perch. Uh, that yesterday was uh, 39 centimetres long. Wins a die with 2,000 size Eridy, Stephen Pryke from Australia. Come on, Steve. And I don't know about you, but I was looking at the scoreboard earlier. I reckon you burnt your mojo pretty early, buddy. <laughs> Watch out for the lid of that trophy as it comes down. Come over in the light here, mate, so the guys on, on the internet can see you. And uh, you can let us know what this one ate because, let's face it, they didn't eat it that good today, did they? Well, they ate it well in the morning. Yep. Um, but then it kind of crashed and burned. But, uh, yeah, just little paddle tails, nothing fancy. Well done, mate. Uh, you got a new diet for your efforts there? Go and sit down and we'll... Uh, you could be in it tomorrow if you catch some big ones. The donut dough for yesterday, for the Ram Mount Day, we have a, uh, I have a donut here. It is on the wrong trophy, I think. There we go. This is the Ram Mount's donut dough. This, they are fresh. They can be, we ate some of them today, didn't we? Uh, that one goes to Amran uh, Almatari. I think it is from UAE. You here, mate? Had a good day. Caught a fish. Where are you, Amran? Not here. He's sleeping. Well, he did catch a fish actually, but he got disqualified because he did it the wrong way. So it was a good lesson for him on the practice day and we'll get that sorted out today. So if anyone wants to eat his donut for him, it's going to be up here. All right, uh, let's go into today. We have those same awards for today. Day one of the championships, the Power Pole Day. Um, we have a Big Pike Award for today. Um, and you might know who this is because we haven't seen the scoreboard since 12.30, but he caught a 90 centimetre pike. He is from Germany, Florian Liner. Come and get yourself an award, Florian. This one's the big perch. I'm not going to get you that one. Let me grab you another one. That's your reel, and I'm just going to grab you a trophy. And again, watch the lid of that trophy. It can fall off, but you can also drink beer out of it later on. <laughs> hey, well, no, before you go somewhere, come back here. Come back. This is your... I need to know, I need to know what you caught that thing on. Shh, just between you and me. Uh, a rubber bait. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> And we have the, uh, the Big Perch Award for today. It seems like the Aussies are fantastic at catching perch and not pike. Uh, Tony Petty, 40 centimetres, does it two days in a row. And you know that why that is, because perch look just like brim, don't they, Tone? There's a trophy for you, mate. You're going to have to fit all those in your, uh, your take-home luggage and... Uh, Mate, what's the secret to these, you know, all of these guys are fishing for these perch and you're consistently catching the big ones. Give them a hint. Uh, it's every second day on a small rubber. A small rubber. Thank you. That time is it. Good. We've narrowed it right down. And the donut dough for today. Today was the power pole day. We're going to give it away another the rants because that's what I've got here. Um, the donut dough for today, and this was chosen because on his social media it said, for sale, one daily verification card, no use at all. <laughs> that was uh, Jane Kovisto from Finland. Come on, mate. Well done. <laughs> There's your donut. And uh, come across here and uh, look, did anyone buy your card off you? Uh, I do my best to earn this. And <laughs> well done. Better luck tomorrow. Grand round of applause. Go Europe. 
Eat the donut, Charlie. You've got to eat it. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's enough of those awards. Who wants to see some results from today? Anyone? Yeah? Let's do it. All right. I have the magic sheet in my hand here. These results were meticulously checked by uh, the Tawny X officials and then three Hobie guys had a look over it and uh, the Dark Lord himself signed off on it. So these are uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, and we're going to go through the top 10. Let's, uh, bring up, we'll bring up 20th to 10th first in this table you'll see here. And then we're going to run our way through. So you can see there in 20th place, uh, Matt Ramey with 179. Ryan Lambert, 19th with 183. Jay Wallen, 183 centimetres. 17th, Simon Morley from Australia, 184. Christine Fisher in 16th with 189 centimetres. 15th, Benton Parrott from the USA, 194 centimetres. Jordan Marshall, 2 centimetres ahead. 13th, Boom Boom with 202 centimetres. In 12th, Cullen Dimitina, 208 centimetres. And in 11th, Andre Sava, 208 centimetres. But the top 10 is where it gets a little more interesting. In 10th place, and man, we saw him catch a few nice pike early this morning, Richard Offner, 208 centimetres from Canada. Well done. Let's reveal number nine in ninth place, Ron Champion, 212 centimetres. In eighth place, Tim Percy from Canada, 214. There is no donut dough for Timmy today at all. In seventh place, Torg Schindler, 226 centimetres. Well done from Germany. In sixth place, Johnson Lee from Singapore, 229 centimetres. Go, Singapore. And I think we're going to get the, uh, the top, top five we might get up. Let's get the top five up. We have time to do that. In fifth place, he caught uh, 239 centimetres of fish, Stian Slora. Come on up and have a chat to us, Stian. There's his results. Two pikes, 79 and 72. A 33, 28 and 27 centimetre perch. And Stian, you weren't winning any awards on the practice though, mate, but you were keeping your powder dry. Come across here and uh, any tips for the fellow Europeans? Uh, the fish is in the water. Very good. That's a new one. Thank you very much. Down you go. I'm not going to ask you anymore. They don't like telling us that much. Here's someone who was leading this tournament a little today. If you were watching the scoreboard, you would have seen him up the top for a little. He uh, comes from Australia, 241 centimetres, Jonathan Chen. Come on up, Jono. And he is not still wearing the lucky purple shorts. The message of this story is, Jono, if I film you in the morning, you're going to catch some fish, aren't you? Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> um, the lucky purple shorts, tell us a story about them. They've uh, got you a few good tournament results so far. Definitely. So I just bought these shorts, brightly coloured and fished one comp in them and decided to keep them on. So. Do you wash them between days? Yes. <laughs> Very, that's, that's a bad story. I'd like if they were going to walk away themselves at the end. When I look at your results here, you have perch that are 36, 37 and 37 centimetres. They are big perch from here, mate. That, that got you ahead of a lot of people. Yep, they were nice and early in the morning. I think I got them in the first half an hour. So. That's your tip, catch them early? Yes. Very good. Thanks, Jono. Good on you, mate. Jonathan Chen sitting in uh, fourth place. In third place, with 243 centimetres of fish, he is the current world champion, Andrew Deeth from Australia. Come up, Andrew. He caught a 31, a 34 and a 34 centimetre perch, followed by a 56 and then a kicker, 88 centimetre pike. And let me tell you, does it give you some, come over close here, mate. Does it give you some tingles thinking, oh my God, I'm in striking distance again? Yeah, up the top, who knew? <laughs> You're another person I filmed this morning, mate. I think if you want to get up on this leaderboard, come and see in the morning, I'll interview you and you'll catch some fish. Yeah, mate, I'll be back tomorrow. You're going to be back for another interview. Look, give the guys some tips. I know, uh, especially our Anzac brothers in New Zealand, Darkie in the back corner, he wants a tip. How's he going to catch some big perch tomorrow? Mate, be good to your mum. There you go, well done, thank you. <laughs> Getting interesting now, the top two places we're going to reveal. Uh, in second place, 246 centimetres of fish, three more than, uh, than Andrew, is David Morris from Great Britain. Come on, Dave, up. He got himself a nice, uh, nice range of pike from 26 to 35 centimetres. 
a 64 centimetre pike there, and then of course you had this, look at that giant pike, 89 centimetres there, only one centimetre off the big pike of the day. Mate, take us through the capture, of, you don't have to tell you what sort of caught it on, but take us through the capture of that big pike, how excited were you? Yeah, I nearly capsized to be honest. Um, I couldn't get hold of my card to register the catch. It was on my left hand side and I had the pike held with my left hand and there was still a hook in there. So I was reaching round, I stood up, turned round, and the pike lunged at me. I went like this, and the whole kayak tilted over to the side. There was water running over the gunnels. I was thinking I was going to have to back off and just jump in, but just lean forward and the whole kayak straightened back up again. It was a bit of a pe <laughs> it was a bit of a pouty moment, and uh, yeah, I managed to save it. So uh, yeah, got it measured. Well, there's no better place to do it in the World Championships, but Tim Percy. I seem to remember that another kayak that was near flipped over and sideways right near the start, and that was you, so you'll see that in the highlights later on. Uh, of course, I want a very vague tip for the rest of the field. How do they get hold of an 89-centimetre pike? Yeah, work hard for it. There you go. Work hard. Thank you. And that leaves us with the leader from, uh, from day one. Uh, he caught 265 centimetres. He is 19 centimetres ahead of the rest of the field at the moment. Let's get up Florian Linier. Come on. He's up the back corner there. And I tell you what, there must be no feeling as good as leading a world titles on day one. Florian, you took out a camera for us, I think, on the, one of the practice days. And we did, I didn't see too many secrets in that camera. Were you holding back or did just everything go perfectly for you today? Yeah, I think so. But it was still difficult. Yes. You know, you need to cover, you need to cast, cast, cast. Otherwise, no chance. Uh, when did you catch, what time of the day did you catch that big fish? Uh, this was in the off or after lunch. Something after lunch. like this. Yeah, when the wind picked up, got stronger and then the big fish got active. Excellent. Now, I would like another vague tip for all of the... One for the Americans. What would you tell the Americans if they wanted to do well tomorrow? Fish as hard as you can. <laughs> there you go. That's a pretty good tip, actually. Thank you. Our leader from day one, Florian Linner. All right. I think that's it. That's thank you to uh, Hobie Europe. Thanks to the guys, to, to Scafiri. Thanks to everyone who put in the results today. I think no one was really holding back. We went in there. The live scoreboard from this event is going to get absolutely pounded by people all over the world. Go and enjoy yourself a dinner. Thank you very much.